Okay, well, you've taken all three of my good openings and just thrown them to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what you want me to do now. Let's uh, let's uh, hopefully you make some money and talk about movies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to a new episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And today we got, count them, two, not one, but two movies that are out there for your viewing pleasure. Uh, the first one is a Netflix featurette with the great uh, late Christian Slater. Late? Isn't he dead? No, Chris Slater's alive. Here we go. Oh, his Hollywood career is after this movie. Um, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Drugs are out. Sex is out. Politics are out. Everything is on hold. I mean, we definitely need something new. I just keep waiting for some new voice to come out of somewhere and just say, hey. Wait a second. What is wrong with this picture? Just take a look around. Well, maybe this is the answer to everything. Wouldn't that be nice, huh? Dear Hard Harry, do you think I should kill myself? Great. Signed, I'm serious. And, of course, there is a number here. <laughs> I look. So, did Pump of the vo Volume, did you think that encouraged you to start a podcast? No. Pump Up the Volume, though, is one of the reasons I started becoming a DJ <laughs> and stuff like that, though. One, it was like, it literally, it's a trifecta mm -hmm. of, uh, it was WKRP in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. Howard Stern, uh, Man Cow, uh, who's a Chicago air D shock DJ, mm -hmm. and um, the one and the only Pump Up the Volume. I mm -hmm. swear those were the reasons I got into uh, recording things with my boys. Uh, awesome in this movie, uh, new to the to the movie genre, Mr. Evan Whiten. If you're looking for mom, she's in with Jasper. Nope, just checking on you. You know what I want to be when I grow up? Baseball player? Not anymore. Now I want to be a scientist or doctor or something. Find a cure for cancer that could save Jasper. You are a great brother. Do you know that? Is that for Jasper? His birthday is this weekend. He loves flea stuff so much. We were going to have a party where he dressed up like a cot. That's all he's been talking about. It sucks. Because now we have to be here. Yeah, that's... um. From his sizzle reel, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. Right, that's what right. Did. Yeah. Um, uh, also, uh, Alex Knight is in this movie as well. This ain't working, Rob. You busted him up. I probably broke a few ribs. He ain't talking. We got to go to plan B. I don't have a plan B. All I got a fucking plan A. And without it, we got shit. We still have a play. We wait until dark, then we move him up north. When he's looking at real time, he'll crack. We can't wait till dark. You heard him. Guys are coming. He was bluffing, hoping we'd get scared and split. Didn't sound like he was bluffing. Okay, so maybe his guys are coming. We take the risk. We move him now. Show him what the rest of his life in a cell in the states looks like. Yeah, that's from Narcos. I know. Well, I, that's why I got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you one um, guy here. Also, yeah, I know, and I, I just that, and the other guy is. Oh, you want me to do it? Uh, Demeon Bisher. Your mother changed. She wanted more than I could give her. So uh, she went away. And I was left alone with you. I didn't know how I was going to manage with a small boy with no money and no regular job. I had a lot of anger inside me. But the thing, 
The one thing that helped me get over all that it was you to be able to take care of you and watch you grow. Yeah, it's from uh, watch you grow. Yep. So that's you a, know what it's from. It's from that thing. That's the first <laughs> movie of the night. We're going to be watching Chuba, like Chuba Cabre, but we just didn't finish the word. Yeah, I no Cabra. I guess that's how. No, no Cabra, just Chuba. But like Chuba Cabra, Chuba. The next is the big sexy movie of the week, and maybe the year the way it looks like <laughs> things are going. In this- <laughs> I'm serious as much as that comes out, but uh, and that movie is the one, the only. Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Um, it's one of your favorites, right? Yeah, I love, that's it. Uh, yeah, well, that, no, that's that's the cover for the game, but the new oh, ones are different. Okay, here we go. No, what that's that's one? the second one. What about Sec- that one? No, that's the third one. That's this like, one. Not that one either. That that one. <laughs> not that one either. That one. Yeah, still wrong, dude. What about this? This one? No, that's super, that's super Mario. Uh, 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 no, nope. what about that? Yeah, keep no. going. Dude. Okay, I gotta keep going. Okay, You're where's closer. it at? You're getting closer. Where's it at? There, they got the Wii. All right, there's another Wii. Uh, there's another, yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's 3DS. We got the Super Mario <laughs> Brothers Two, Super Mario them, Brothers U, Super Mario's 3D World, Super Mario Mario uh, Super. Up, uh, uh, oh here it is. Odyssey. Uh, no, no, that's that's the newest Switch game, which is great. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, here it is. N- not that one either. <laughs> Damn it! Where am I at? Oh, there it is. This yeah, is there we go. Yeah. Brothers movie. Good job. The movie. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you don't know, with the title Super Mario Brothers, there's a total, no lie, of 62 games that have the Super Mario Brothers name in the game. You know how many video games Mario himself is in? How many? He is in over 261 games. And we're talking about even him as Jumpman, like in Donkey Kong? Yeah, even Jumpman, him as the referee, and Mike (laughs) Punch-Out, in Mario Kart, and all those other ones and stuff like that. But anyway, doing the voice of one of the most legendary video games uh, characters of all time. The one, the only, you either love him or hate him, I guess, at this point in life. It's Chris Pratt. We are throwing a Halloween party at our house. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. Someone will die. Of Fun. And of murder. And there's going to be beer, pumpkins. Bloody goblins. Fake yes. ones. It's going to be awesome. We have decorations. Dead people that we just murdered. Not murdered, but pictures of dead people from TV or movies. Mutilated is... bodies. F- but fake ones. Candy. Dancing. Tequila. All kinds of food and snacks. Blood orphans. No blood orphans. <laughs> That's uh, from <laughs> no Parson. No blood Red. orphans. No blood orphans. If you're going to do a Chris Pratt, you always got to grab Andy from freaking, uh, you know. Parks and Rec, one of the best shows of all time. Absolutely. In my opinion. I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. Uh, Also, the one, the only, Anya Tyler Joy. You're incredibly off-putting and you freak me out. There you go. In kind of a fascinating way. Like a YouTube video of a giant zip being popped or a baby born without a face. Love those videos. You actually smell kind of weird. Really? Yeah. Have you showered? Only every couple of days lately, but no one said anything, so I thought I was getting away with it. You're not. Not sorry, I tried. (laughs) How's that feel? Really good. Seems like it. Well, we should actually probably get back to work. I think you pulled that clip for last time. Fine, you too, Joey. From Thoroughbreds? Uh, did we really? Uh, well, it's a good speaking clip it for her. And there's not many good speaking clips. Uh, because, like, she's always, like, the person that's, like, the passive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, you know. Yeah, yeah. I got you. You know. But Anna T- Taylor Joy, if you don't know who she is, literally a Queen's Gambit, The Menu, Northmen, like I don't even know how many top the witch, freaking, uh, the witch, yeah, top uh, movies. Glass, she was in Glass, she's right? In. She's in Glass. Uh, also, uh, like a oh, last night in Soho. Yeah. But then one of the greats, 
in comedy today. Yes, the one, the only. If you got a Mario, you need a Luigi. And who best than go to the lovely place of Philadelphia to get <laughs> that guy? It is Charlie Day. Right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail for you all day, okay? Pepe Sylvia, this name keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Pepe's mail is getting sent back to me. Pepe Sylvia, Pepe Sylvia. I look at the mail, but well, this whole box is Pepe Sylvia! So I say to myself, I gotta find this guy. I gotta go up to his office. I gotta put his mail in the guy's goddamn hands. Otherwise, he's never gonna get it. It's gonna keep coming back down here. So I go up to Pepe's office, and what do I find out, Mac? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist, okay? So I decided, oh shit, buddy, I gotta dig a little deeper. There's no Pepe Sylvia, you gotta be kidding me! I got boxes full of Pepe! All right, so I start marching my way down to Carol and HR, and I knock on her door and I say, Carol! Carol, I gotta talk to you about Pepe! And when I open the door, what do I find? There's not a single goddamn desk in that office. There is no Carol in HR. Yeah, from, it's always it's always sunny. That's a great episode too. <laughs> Love Charlie Day. Charlie Day is is uh, he's like the only reason I him and Danny Vito are the only two reasons I ever watch Always Sunny in <laughs> Philadelphia. I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah, I don't know why. It should be my comedy right up the yeah. way because it's dirty, raunchy yeah. comedy. But uh, for some reason, it just doesn't hit me right. I don't know why. Uh, I am halfway through Community though. Oh yeah, great. You, yeah, how you, you liking it? Yeah, you know it's all right. It's good for background. Okay. Literally, it is because okay. every I I only pick up like every other joke, so it's okay. fine. <laughs> and then the last guy, the guy playing the number one villain in this movie, the man himself. Not only is he the, the main villain in this, he's the man who gave us greatest hits like Wonder Boy, a tribute. And you don't always have to fuck her hard. <laughs> Sometimes that's not right to do. Yes, the one, the only, so nice his not his name had to rhyme, Jack Black. What, you want me to teach you something? You want to learn something? All right, here's a useful lesson for you. Give up. Just quit. Because in this life, you can't win. Yeah, you can try. But in the end, you're just gonna lose big time because the world is run by the man. Who? The man. Oh, you don't know the man? Oh, well, he's everywhere. In the White House, down the hall, Miss Mullins. She's the man. And the man ruined the ozone and he's burning down the Amazon and he kidnapped Shamu and put her in a chlorine tank, okay? And there used to be a way to stick it to the man. It was called rock and roll. But guess what? Oh no. The man ruined that too with a little thing called MTV. <laughs> yeah, that's great from the Google Rock. I swear, I didn't, I didn't realize that both of them had conspiracy theories. <laughs> <laughs> right in a row. But yeah, it's the second movie of the night. Super Mario Brothers. Chris, tell everybody where they can find us. You can find us on iMovies.network, Facebook, Facebook, the console, the podcast. We're on Twitter, NTS Podcast. We're on Instagram, NTS Podcast. We have a on Patreon, Patreon, console, movies don't suck. Yeah, if you guys want to throw us a few dollars, that'd be nice if you get there. Uh, become a patron. Uh, also, we're on Bonfire, bonfire.com, bonfire uh, so tunes don't suck and some that do. And uh, also, uh, yeah, we're every time on podcast. And I do want to give a shout out to a new patron we have. Yeah, we got a new patron. Yeah, Greg. Someone actually paid to talk to us and I know. give us stuff. So nice. What the heck? Uh, yeah, Man, so- if we get any more, if we get any more patrons, we are literally going to be. Uh, yeah, hundred airs, hundred airs, maybe, maybe, and we could also maybe buy buy like a meal for ourselves, you know. Like oh meal. my god, we definitely need to get some ramen noodles. So uh, I want to thank <laughs> I want to thank uh, thank uh, Greg Dedrick of Nightmare Junkhead for becoming a patron. Oh, Nightmare Junkhead! Oh my gosh, love those guys. Yeah. We definitely need to do an episode with them as soon as yeah. possible. Yeah. Yeah, but if gonna... you haven't, if you guys want to know another be- uh, great guys that like to talk at horror movies. Uh, is what is their genre? Am I correct? Yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, it's nightmare junkies. Uh, uh, junkhead, ju- junkhead. <laughs> sorry. Uh, definitely go check them out. Uh, great dudes. Um, in fact, they're so great because they are a part of our sponsorship for the day. Oh yeah, yeah. So the but, you real quick, only- th- thanks for your help, Greg. Thank you, thanks for. Yeah, thank you, Greg. Thank you for helping us out because there's only one thing we're talking about the next couple weeks. And I'm because I'm just going to make it easy on my <laughs> life. And that's the one, the only Kansas City's number one film festival 
Panic Fest. Yes. Yes. Panic Fest has uh, will start on the 15th. Um, you need the 13th? Or is it on the 13th? Yeah, tomorrow. 13th. Yeah, Sorry. tomorrow. Sorry. Uh, it is on the 13th. It starts tomorrow. If you're listening to this live tomorrow, uh, if not, then it is through the 13th to the 19th in person. That is six days. So you can go down there and watch films at the Screenland Armor. Bam! Screenland <laughs> Armor. One of our favorite. Oh, yeah. I mean, one of the most beautiful theaters ever. And you get to see movies. You can play arcades there. You can talk movies with the people that are there. It is ridiculous. Um, if you can't make it to Kansas City, you can go to PanicFest.com. You can go to PanicFest.com. Panic and Film you Fest. can Panic Film Fest. I'm sorry. Yeah. PanicFilmFest.com. And you can literally. Why am I messing up on things today so much? <laughs> anyway, uh, PanicFilmFest.com. And they have a virtual uh, experience, including movies you can see, uh, trailers of new movies that are going to be coming out, uh, behind the scenes stuff, and it looks like an arcade. I am not going to lie to you. It looks like you're walking around in The Sims. Here's a couple pictures of their environment. You're just one character walking around, and you can play games like Pac-Man. I know is in there somewhere. I know like there's a Spy Hunter somewhere. You can and play it chess with great... people there. Yeah, they have yes. a chess. With... Yeah. Um, and you can talk with people and stuff like that. It is amazing. It is Panic Fest 2023, panicfilmfest.com. If not, you can go to their also um, on Facebook as well, which is uh, Panic Film Fe- uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook.com backslash Panic Film Fest. Literally, guys, it is one of the greatest things in the world. So great that me and Chris – yesterday <laughs> got to interview and i'm i lied to you not we got to interview um spider one from power man 5000 and his girlfriend uh his, and his significant other the movie yeah, yeah. let's yeah i don't know significant other i didn't i, I didn't ask yeah, that's rude of me. <laughs> maybe i should have asked yeah. um but i didn't but yeah, we get to talk to them. Uh, the but um, we got to talk to them about their new movie, Bury the Bride, which is great. By the way. Um, which we are going to be reviewing for part of our Panic Fest uh, information coming up. Mm-hmm. I have a picture somewhere of there. There we go. Boom! A picture of us talking to <laughs> Spider and Chris Fox and uh, Chrissy Fox yesterday. But uh, Bury the Bride is the name of their movie. We'll be reviewing that and talking about that later on this week. Um, we are going to be just doing. Panic Fest, Panic Fest, Panic Fest. Um, one guy asked if you were drinking because you're slurring. Well, I, are you drinking, sir? Who's dude asked me that? Some Neil has the other dude been drinking. He is slurring. No, I just uh, that's just the drunk? way I talk. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Chris, are you drunk? No, they're asking, buddy. No, this is just the way I talk, pal. I'm sorry. Uh, I shouldn't do a podcast, maybe right. That, well, that's why you got me. So it counteracts. It I got, the, beautiful, yeah, yeah, you I got, got the, the voice of the angels. You enunciate, and, you and I, I just swear. But uh, yep. no, man, I just, and, and I just plus, have a hard, plus, hard speech. You speak the best words better than I do. So Azul. <laughs> um, Azul. Rise, Azul. So but anyway, uh, you know what time it is. Oh, um, also, I want to I wanna give a shout out to uh, Panic Fest because they are doing the they're doing the Etheria Spirit Awards this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is uh, female directors. Mm-hmm. And, of course, our friend Chrissy Fox is in there for, uh, I think, Inhuman, I think was the name of it. Or yeah, yeah, Hit Me short... Human. Man, I had it, and I, I accidentally closed it out. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, literally, but, um, so, they, I, I love Panic Fest, man. They, they're trying to bring it as hard as they can, and they're doing a really good job. So yeah. literally, go check out Panic Fest. But you know what time it is, Chris? We're going to talk about Chupa. Chupa. Directed by Jonas Coron. Uh, Jonas Coron is, uh, is the uh, son of famed director Alfonso Coron, director of Gravity and one of my favorite movies, Children of Men. Uh, this is written by Sean Kennedy Moore, John Barthen, and Marcus Reinhardt. This stars... Damien Bashir is Shava. Your mother changed. Also, Christian Slater is Richard Quinn. I don't know. <laughs> Evan Witten as Alex. What you looking for, Mom? And Alex Knight as Jumpsuit. 
This ain't working well. Also, this also stars Alex, Ashley Sierra as Luna, Nicholas Verdugo as Mimo. And uh, why don't you go ahead and read the storyline for this one, pal? Uh, no, because you don't know how to play. Why don't you play full sentences? I just don't understand you sometimes. Sometimes you're like. I mean, like, I don't. Say we got, <laughs> I don't know. That's what we see, see, I'm just messing. I don't know. Oh my forward. god, this is an explanation, and it's from Netflix. All right, cool. <laughs> All right. So it's their explanation for this movie, guys. All right, here we go. Shy 13 year old Alex file flies from cans. I'm sorry. Yes, Let's sir. start this over. Yeah, one, two, three. Shy 13 year old Alex flies from Kansas City. To Mexico to meet his extended family for the first time. There he meets his grandfather and former Lucha Libre champion Chavo. Interactic wrestling obsessed cousin Mimo and his fearless hip cousin Luna. But just as Alec began to get his bearings, he discovers a mythical creature living under his grandfather's shed, a young chubacabra cub, which he recognizes from stories of the feared, full-grown chubacabra. Fable to feed on farmer's livestock, Alex soon learns that his new friend Chupa has a secret history with his family, and that dog, dangerous scientist Richard Quinn is hunting the misunderstood creature to try and harness his powers. To protect Chupa from impounding danger, Alex sets off on the adventure of a lifetime. That was the entire movie. Yeah. That's that's it. We, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's just let's just be done. Okay, that's the, it. The best thing about this movie is Chava. Do you mean Chavar's character? That's the a that's the adorable, just, <laughs> just adorable. This little creature is Chupa. Yeah, Chupa is pretty cute. Um, but but I'm talking about I'm talking about the actor. I play Chava, Dimian. Mm-hmm. Favorite thing about the movie. That's it. I mean, the little the the image the the um, love between the two of them, uh, the Chubacabra and, and or Chuba or whatever you want them. Yeah. Um, first, I, I just realized. Sorry, I was working on the news the whole time when I was talking <laughs> to you, and I, I I didn't realize I didn't do any of my stuff. So here, first, we got to be in Mexico. We mm-hmm. in Mexico. Da 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 da. All right, and then. And then um, let's see, we got to get some facts going. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. So this movie was fine. Um, <laughs> it was fine. Yes. It, this, it was fine. I don't know what more I can say. It was. It, this is obviously it's, made for kids. Yeah, it's it's um, pretty minor movie, like because, in that aspect. Because like, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Okay, this is what they gave us as a chubacabra, right? <laughs> Some of the worst CGI I've seen, by the way. Some of the worst CGI I've ever seen, yeah. So we're going to go with that, too. But I got a question. Mm. Have you ever seen a Chubacabra look like that? No, I've always seen them differently. Like this? Yeah. (laughs) Like that with the, 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 like, the pine. Like, Mm -hmm. here's the three most, here's the three most, uh, their pictures of Chubacabras, the most, three most known you know what people think they look like, and they do not look like this. Like you little thing. They look like they're dangerous. They're gonna kill you. You're gonna die. They look like you know dogs with like you know porcupine claws on yeah. the back or and wings. Not like this little fuzzy cat with wings. I guess. Yeah, yeah it has feathers too. It's but it's that that chupa is pretty cute. Do you want to mention what Chupa means? <laughs> the, the, the slang. Oh is? no, that's coming. That's coming <laughs> yeah. next. That's the next one because I said there's not many uh, movie facts on this one. And here's the other one. Yes, uh, Chupa. They they had some problems when they announced the movie as Chupa because in Spanish and Filipino, that term actually is the term for fellatio. And yeah. if you don't know what fellatio is, it's getting your dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting your PP sucked. Yeah. It's a good old blow job. Yeah. And and like literally these people did not think about that before. Well, putting the, the, it out also there. the writers aren't 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 from Mexico or I mean that, that which kind of bothers me a little bit. Um Yeah, I do the fact there is so much um Spanish. Yeah. So I would say about about the third of this is in Spanish, right? But mm-hmm. anyone who speaks English speaks impeccable English, English like like almost no accent. <laughs> so like um, 
but I don't know, man. Like this was fine. Christian Slater, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing in this. I honestly don't. Uh, I do. He was collecting a paycheck. Okay. And he did perfectly. Uh, he oh, did. So, he did exactly what he needed to do. He so, needed to collect a paycheck. Oh, so someone dropped a nickel. So he's there. <laughs> Um, you know, um, I love Christian Slater, yeah. so I'm not going to yeah. diss him. He he brought his his charm yeah, thought, to the uh, movie. I thought the guy who played Demi, uh, Chava was great too. I, like, I really liked his character. I mean, Grandpa. oh, the, the the yeah. Okay, so there are great, there are good aspects of this movie, but yeah. it, it's literally just a fun uh, kid movie. Yeah, this it's is for not kids. Yeah, it's for kids. To take for serious. Sure. Don't don't. One at all, we go to see this movie in Netflix and be like, "This is going to be the greatest thing you ever seen." It was number one in Netflix when we when I picked it, though. You know? Yeah, yeah, it definitely number one um, on Netflix. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Remember Netflix? Yeah, remember Netflix. Do you think they'll be gone tonight? I don't know, dude. I don't know. They should so much thing. They want to sponsor the show. Yeah, I mean, sooner or later, it's all going downhill. Someone's going to take over. I mean, and let's just be honest, the ones that are always the good ones are not the ones that started it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, with Chupa, though, mm-hmm. minor movie, uh, it's fine. It's whatever. I you know, I didn't have much. Yeah, like I said, it was a decent movie. It's for, it's for kids, though, guys. It's not something that you're going to... Like that. Let's do some quotes and just get this one out of the way. Okay. Um, we found it. We found the creature in Kansas. Oh, this is Kansas City Five is news. This took place no, like in the nineties, right? There isn't a five. Isn't it this takes place huh? in the? Took place I don't know in what the, it was, but it, I mean, there's a Game Boy, so yeah, okay. there's a Game Boy, so it has to be. It has to be right. Yeah. Um, is that how you? Say vomit in Spanish. Nobody sma- speaks Spanish in Kansas City. Nobody. Mm. There's a whole area. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole literally area. a whole area. There's, there's, there's great, a whole area. It's my favorite place to go to get food. Yeah, because they get great. <laughs> that's the only. It's the only good place in Kansas City. Mexican food. The only good Mexican food. Isn't oh there? God! They have that buffet. Oh, the one that you, have you ever gone to the one that has the buffet? It's yeah. like uh, the third restaurant down, like right next to the water fountain. Yeah, I think so. And yeah. like, it, and it has like a buffet <sighs> for brunch on Sunday. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I'm hungry now. Now I'm hungry. I want a buffet. Um, what is he doing? That's lucha libre. You know about that, right? Chupacabras don't, huh? You know about lucha libre, right? One of my best buddies is a Lucha Libre wrestler named Lunchador. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. I know Lucha Libre. Um, those aren't bueno. Those are bugs. I was just taking a walk. Then what's up with the goat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know nothing. I do will bring back my father. It's called a suplex. It was my signature move, <laughs> which is funny because the suplex is like one of the most common moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to say that that he has, it has to be he has to be really old as a <laughs> suplex was his finisher. Just saying, that's a cow. Yeah, a very sick cow. A luchador, a luchador never goes anywhere without their cape. Leave him alone, or I will slam you. Stop being so dramatic, kid. Go home. Get a dog. I'm going to show them I was right all along. This is just a, a, a huge, huge misunderstanding, and it's time you learned about the beauty of the suplex. Chris, give me your demotion. What what do you got? A three point one, maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go three point, man. Uh, yeah, just three. Uh, this again. This is a kids movie. This it was fine. It's minor movie, uh, but Doesn't again, really... the CGI, as Chris mentioned, was fucking god awful. Like as soon as I saw the thing, the creature or whatever, I was like, oh, 
Okay, so that's where we're going with this. The, the, I mean, the, you know, Chupa was cute. You know, it was a cute animal. Chu- Chupa was cute. Yeah. Not gonna lie, Chupa yeah. was cute. We wanted to, we both you know, I wanted to pet just it. Like, yeah. Eh. yeah. So uh I wanted to pet it, I wanted to kill it, I wanted to oh wait a minute. I said that out loud, my bad. So this does not this does not have a critic consensus is a score for both. So I'm gonna run to me as like So <laughs> Okay, that's where we're at in life. All right. What? That the, they don't have a consensus <laughs> yeah, for yeah. this because they so, don't want to talk. So the um, the, well, I, I'm gonna do as a comment was the audience score for Chupa. Audience score for Chupa has to be forty one percent, sixty three percent. Ooh, a lot higher yeah, than yes. what I thought they were gonna so, go. So what's the big I mean, critic score for Chupa? Thirty eight percent, sixty two percent, sixteen or sixty, sixty two. So mm. I'm gonna read one good review, one bad review of this, just so we have something. So uh, this is from uh, Peter Rayner of Film Week, KPCC, NPR, Los Angeles. Uh, he, he says a sweet but very minor movie. Okay, and this is uh, the bad review of Nick Allen and RogerEbert.com. Chupa oh. willfully comes one of those family films that takes plenty from the toy box of cliches left before and hardly gives anything back. So. Guys, we, you know, we're like whatever. It's children, whatever. That's what we thought. Of it, basically, it's not. It's not offensively bad, but I couldn't. I don't know. This is number one on Netflix. Yeah, uh, Christian Slater and a cute fuzzy creature that kids like. Okay, that's fair. That's a good answer. I mean, I, I don't. I, I, that's that's why, Chris. That's that's the reason it is number whatever on the, you know. Well, fuck, 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 fuck. Right. well, uh, I think we're ready for something else, though. I think we're ready for some. Are, are you ready to get naked? I'm ready to do some news. Why are you trying to get naked on the podcast, dude? We're gonna get, get off, kicked off the air because of you. <laughs> Let's do it. Now it's time for the movies that don't suck and something new. So I'm going to read stuff to Chris. He's going to like it, or too bad. He's just going to sit there and listen with his ears bleeding. What'd you have from pal today? I'm excited. Let's start it off, man, because it's the biggest one of the past week. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And let's take a sip of the of the of the juice. Okay. Okay. Your new camera looks so good, by the way. I know, right? <laughs> it's the it's the camera and the lighting and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. You know what we do? You know what we need to do? You know it. You know it. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. It's strobe party. Let's talk some news. All right, so if I don't know if you know, but they've announced it, the next three movies for Star Wars. Oh, okay. I didn't know they announced it, really. Okay. The new the new Star Wars movie will follow a new Jedi Order. Okay. Daisy Riddle to return as Rey in the movies. And uh, from the Academy Award-winning director, Char- oh, man, I'm going to butcher this name, Charmaine Obadid Canayo. I need to look it up. I think that's how you pronounce it. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you yeah, real quick. Good call. And, and and you you tell me what you, you think it is because I totally butchered that. Okay. And I, I totally admit that I butchered that. It's all your fault though. I know. I know. If you're just there in my English class when I was a kid. All right, send it to your Facebook Messenger. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Shermino by right? Shinoa, yeah. Okay. What about she's direct, but, uh, she's directing it? He's directing it. Yep, she's that's the it. director. Okay, cool. And uh, literally, it it was announced um, April seventh at the Star Wars Celebration. Um, she will uh, also is said to be directed. Okay, directed. The announcement was made on the ongoing Star Wars Celebration, uh, written by Peaky Blinders and Eastern Promises writer Stephen Knight. The new movie will be set 15 years after the events of the Disney sequel trilogy, which ended in 2019 with the deeply diverse uh, divisive Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Picking up with Rey, the Star Wars sequel to the sequels will follow the character as she builds a new Jedi order. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can okay. hear you perfectly fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, there's nothing going on here, so let's make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're perfectly fine. Yeah. 
and not only, folks, are we getting a new Star Wars, but if you want to watch the old Star Wars, the 40th anniversary this year of the uh, Return of the Jedi, mm. okay, um, will be in the movie theaters uh, for the 40th celebration. Uh, let me see where it's at. Yeah, it's going to be the original cut is going to have the extra footage uh, added. I have no idea. Okay. It doesn't say. Okay. It just says Return of the Jedi returns to theaters April 28th. So the 40th and the poster looks bad ass. <laughs> oh my God. I want that poster, dude. Are that gonna, is like the coolest. Are like, you going to show our viewers? Here, I'm getting it. I'm going <laughs> to see it. Yes, I'm going back in. I, like, I just saw it for the first time, bro. I can only go so fast and. Technology only goes so fast with me. Oh yeah, does the uh, stutter? Da, da, da. Yeah, and I, I I do have it loaded up pretty much with a lot of pictures of that, <laughs> you know, and, and, and a lot of Mario pictures for later. Are you going to see in theaters again? I dude, I've seen Return of the Jedi so many <laughs> times in the movie theater. Really I'm good. not gonna lie, yeah. and on like I, I've seen it so many times. Uh, also, Star Wars opening crawl will be returning for all the future movies. Uh, Lucasfilm president Kathleen Kennedy has confirmed that the iconic Star Wars crawl will be back on the big screen movies coming up in the dang future. <laughs> um, also, also, uh, I thought I grabbed the right one. I did not. I have it somewhere. Uh, Sarah Paulson would like everybody to know that Pedro Pascal is the guy for Hollywood. We need him now to play every major role from here on out. Pedro Pascal, if you don't know if he is, he is the Mandalorian and the last of us. Basically, you haven't watched a movie or a TV show in the last year without him being. I've got my wife to be he's a zaddy now. <laughs> he's a zaddy for sure. Uh, but anyway, Sarah Pascal would love you guys all to know that. But David Fillion's new Star Wars movie is going to accumulate all the Mandalorian spinoffs into one film. Okay. So you're going to have, you know, uh, Bubba Fett. You're going to have the Mandalorian and uh, the book of Bubba Fett, S. Osco, uh is going to be part of it. Um, and it's also going to be going into the rebuilding of the Jedi Order. Because, you know, that's where yeah. everything's placed is yeah. after. So, isn't that awesome? Yeah, it's exciting for everyone. Isn't that everybody gets to, yeah. That means we get a shared universe, a good universe, all together with Star Wars. Hey, well, let's go for it. And also announced was Patty Jenkins' Rhodes Godwin, the movie, is not dead yet and could be told as a TV show at Disney+. Plus. So. All right. Patty Jenkins yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the, a so lot of Star Wars news this week, man. A lot of Star Wars news. Everyone's been waiting uh, for it. So. Sylvester, yeah, Sylvester Stallone of uh, Balboa Productions has signed a multi-year deal with Amazon Studios, and so Sty Stallone and Balboa Productions has signed a multi-year first look deal with Amazon Studios to create exclusive content. First look deals, if you don't know, guys, is when somebody gets something, they make an idea, they make it or have something, they're like, hey, this is something we want to do. And they have to show it to Amazon first and be like, hey, do you want this? And they got to be either like, yes. Especially well, in no. 76, so, you know. He's getting up there. Dude, you know, he's got to leave money for the for the kids behind, you yeah, know? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat yeah. woo, woo, woo. is going to be turned into a musical movie. Um, John M. Chai, the guy who created in the the director of In the Heights, mm. uh, will be doing it after he gets done filming Wicked, which is being filmed right now. Oh, though, yeah, I heard about that. I saw yeah, so I just, after uh, he's done with Wicked, it's on to Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Co. It seems like they're running out of comic books. Now they're into the video game market right now, mm -hmm. trying to make some good video game. And now they bring back right? Jesus and the, or at least the biblical Broadway. Now they're no, now they're doing all the Broadways. Okay, okay well, whatever. So I mean, I mean, as as long as it's not cats, <laughs> we'll be fine. Um. 
Eric Dane. Eric Dane, if you don't know him, he was the father figure on Euphoria who uh, liked to sleep with the trainee boys. Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Come on. With the trainees. I, I don't know. Uh, do you call them trans transsexuals? Like, what do you call them? Uh, trans, Transvestite? Trans, and I'm going to cut this part of the podcast. Transgender? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I'm, I'm honestly asking right now. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. I know you, I'm not asking at all. But anyway, the guy who from Euphoria, um, Eric Dane, is going to be playing Bad Boys 4 main villain, which he played as a good villain in Euphoria as the creepy husband guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, your boy Timothy, um, Timothy Chimalte, Chimalte, Chimalte. How do you say Chimalte? Chimalte, yeah, yeah. Chimalte will be doing his own singing as his, as Bob Dylan in the biopic. Yes, I did hear about this. <laughs> so he's gonna be singing himself. So he's gonna be like, oh, oh, and oh. Uh, 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 I don't think that's how Bob Dylan sounds, but you you might do that. No, he doesn't sound like that at all. Mm. That was a very bad, bad, bad Bob Dylan reference. Um, Anyway, Jack Black wants the the Red Dem Redemption to be made into a movie. Who doesn't, fucking man? Like, like, yeah, who doesn't? (laughs) Why he's being interviewed for, of course. Of course, he's like, is there any other com- uh, great uh, video games that you would think would be a movie? I go, you see, um, uh, there are some great games that have yet to be explored in TV or film. Maybe there's going to be a, a Red Dead Redemption game movie. That would be awesome. Yeah. I think everyone would agree to that. Okay, he goes, I think that's an even better story than The Last of Us. I think it's full of shit there, but okay. <laughs> Hey, do you like cocaine? Do I mean, you like bears? I mean, do I, you like bears that do cocaine? Almost. <laughs> well, cocaine bear. Coming up at the end of the month, Peacock will have your the good old cocaine bear that made all its money directly. Uh, it'll be streaming service 50 days after his theatrical debut, which was... Um, so it will be April 14th is when Cocaine Bear will be reaching Peacock. I want to be getting an unrated version of that, you know, like Megan. Dude, I hope they do. I hope there is. I'm all there for it. Uh, Damson Idris to star alongside Brad Pitt in Apple's Formula One racing film. Swarm and Snowfill actor Damson uh, Idris is getting behind the wheel of Apple's Formula One racing film to star alongside the one, the only... They call him Brad Pitt. <laughs> That's what they call him, for sure. We'll see it. James Mongold. Mongold, yeah, yeah. The director of Dial of Destiny. Do you know who James Mon- He's the director. Yes, correct. <laughs> he is the new writer for DC writing the Swamp Thing movie. Interesting. That's interesting. I, I know. I hope it's, I mean, you're a fan of Swamp Thing, right? Yeah, I you know I like the Alan Moore comics, uh, the original '90s films, which uh, '80s films, I guess yeah, '80s yeah. '90s, yeah. Uh, you know, Swamp Thing and Return of the Swamp Thing. Uh, as long as it's not Rubber Munsery looking like like uh, the first Swamp Thing movie, okay, I'm down. Okay, <laughs> I'm down. Another movie that's going to be out there for your viewing pleasure because it didn't do the best, so they're trying to get its money, <laughs> but Voodoo. Uh, right now, uh, Will uh, Fandango's on-demand video service has Shazam! Fury of the Gods. Uh, it's going to be available as a two-film collection with the first one, and it doesn't say when. It just says it's coming to Voodoo. What the fuck? It did not give me a date. When, when's the date? Available purchase for Voodoo. Okay. So within, I'd say by Friday, because it doesn't say a date. I don't know why it doesn't say a date. And this was like three days ago. So usually they throw everything out on Friday. So mm-hmm. it's probably by Friday it'll have. So by the time this is if you're out. listening to it, yeah, by the time you're listening to this, it's probably available. Col- actor uh, Stephen Quapica has returned as Colossus. For Deadpool, now okay. we have him back on the board. So hey. Just keep on, keep on. Yeah, it's all about, it's all about cameos, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> that's how you people come back. It's like, we hate these people coming back for a second. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you better. I mean, that's the way I see it. It's like, that's the cameos we want, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, no, talking about another video game series, Resident Evil is rumored to be rebooted once again yeah. for the new film, The Umbrella Chronicles. Because we talked about uh, we talked all, about Rogue Direction C. We we listened a year ago, <laughs> and we we're yeah. talking. And that wasn't not a good one at all. Yeah, uh, Paul W. S. Anderson that is rumored just, to be fucking give up because he did the last one. He did the the yeah. Real, yeah. All right. Is a uh, rumor to be producing another film reboot dubbed Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. Hey man, the way I say it though, this is this way I always say it though. Mm-hmm. Don't remake and reboot shit that, that that's worked. Reboot and remake shit that hasn't worked and they're trying their ass off <laughs> to get Resident Evil to work. So, <laughs> you know, way to go. Keep it going. Maybe one of them will be a home run sooner or later. Uh, Echo Valley, uh, Echo Valley, the movie, uh, which is going to be the new thriller from the writer of HBO's Mayor of East Town, cast uh, Domino Hall, Domino Gleason as the Domino antagonist yeah, yeah. for Julianne and Moore and um, uh, Sydney Swinney in the new Apple drama. So he's been writing on on there. Um, so. Hey, that's like a cast, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cast right there. It also has Kate Winslow. Uh, it um, has Julian Nicholas, Gene Smart, John Douglas Thompson, and Joe Tippett, and more. Well, he, can, so, he, he definitely can play a villain. Uh, you, you, I don't know if you saw The Patient that came out last year with uh, him and Steve Carell. He plays a good villain. Man. So, Jack Black has teased there is going to be a school reunion, School of Rock reunion oh, nice. this year for the 20th anniversary. Um, his statement was, all those kids dig this were 10 years old when we made the movie, and now they're like 30. We're going to get together and have a 20-year anniversary. We're like, jam. I'm looking forward to seeing all the grown-ups from School of Rock now. That's awesome. And if you guys want to know, you do know that the one, the only, the great, one of the greatest movie stars of all time, the one, the only, Bruce Campbell will be appearing on Impractical Jokers for a new episode where they will be doing a mockery of Evil Dead 2. Nice. Um, It doesn't say exactly when the episode, oh, there it is, Thursday, so tomorrow night at at 10 o'clock is the episode. So by the time this came comes out on podcast, you will definitely be able to go see Bruce Campbell torture the impractical jokers. Yes. Akira's coming to the big screen. Yeah. Uh who who's making that? Takia Wahidi. Oh, okay. Well, oh, maybe he will make me sense of it because I've seen Akira like four times. And I'm like, what the fuck? You saw I watched it. So you and so yeah, he uh, since everyone is wondering where his Star Wars film is, <laughs> uh, I was battling man. My guess is to keep his next movie is his Akira movie at Warner Brothers, which he put on the shelf to do. Uh, L and T. What was L and T? Oh, lo, uh, uh, lo, the uh, Love and Thunder. Oh, okay. He never left the film, and word is script should be into the studio soon. Again, nothing set in stone for the film would go through regular process before Greenlight, including figuring out a budget. But sounds like his focus is now on Akira. All right. And last but not least, the movie from the movie we are about to review, (laughs) the song from the movie, Peaches, is now eligible for Oscar and <laughs> Grammy nominations. According to the Hollywood Reporter, four members... Um, oh, shoot. One second. I, I, I pulled up the wrong one, and I... Uh, I'm. This is why we do it, <laughs> where I cannot be judged and looked at by people. Um, but we go live every day now yeah, every because day. of this. Every day we go live naked. Mm-hmm. Well, Chris is naked. I am not naked. Uh-uh. I, 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 I got told that I'm not exposed. But Bowser's musical love ballad to Princess Peach has 
has hit the internet and now is getting Oscar buzz. <laughs> um, the Super Mario movie, this vibrant, funny song that Bowser sings in the movie. I don't know, even want to ruin it too much. Yeah. Um, and but you know, when you have somebody like Jack Black playing you, God, he put everything into that song. Mm hmm. Uh, but there is now even more hype building that King uh, of the Koopas, Bowser, should be particularly excited about his new hit and single and music video, affectionately titled Peaches, which first debuted in the movie, has gotten a lot of attention, not just from uh, fans. But from the Academy, per an exclusive report from the Variety, the song has officially been deemed Oscar eligible for best original song. <laughs> It'd be wild with that one. I I will be all over it. All right, you ready to go with the movie? I'm ready to get naked. This is the movies that don't suck and some of them news. I told Chris a bunch of stuff. Now he's going to have to sit here and go through all my 942 Mario jokes that I came up with. Super Mario Brothers movie. That's what we're talking about. Uh, good background. Super uh, Mario's. Directed by Aaron Horvath. Uh, man, oh, sorry. Aaron Horvath. Three people directed this movie because it's uh, and it, Aaron Horvath, Michael Jelinek, and Peter Ludic, uh, written by Matthew Fogel. This stars Chris Pratt as it as Mario himself. We are throwing a Halloween party at our house. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. Also, uh, Anya Taylor Joy as Princess Peach. You're incredibly off-putting, and you freak me out. Also, Charlie Day as Luigi. Right there is the mail. Now let's talk about the mail. Can we talk about the mail, please, Mac? I'm dying to talk about the mail. Please. Also, uh, this also stars Jack Black as Bowser. What, you want me to teach you something? You want to learn something? Also, this stars um, Kevin Michael Richardson as Kemek, Carrie Payton as Penguin King, Charles Martinet, the original voice of Mario in Mario 64, does the voice of Mario's dad, Giuseppe, uh, Sebastian yep. Maniscalco does Spike, Rina Romano's Uncle Tony, John DiMaggio, Bender, uh, plays Uncle Arthur, Je Jessica DeGico plays Mario's mom, Keegan Michael Key plays Toad, also, Greg Toad. Uh, it sounds nothing like him. Uh, Fred Emerson plays Cranky Kong, and Seth Rogen plays John Kong. Uh, why don't you go ahead and read the storyline for Mario, a Super Mario Brothers mm, movie? I don't think I want to. Okay, that's fair. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's fair. A Brooklyn pro plumber named Mario travels through the Mushroom Kingdom with a with a princess named Peach and an author anthropomorphic. Anthropomorphic, like who throws that word in there just randomly? Oh. Anthropomorphic mushroom named Toad to find Mario's brother Luigi and to save the world from a ruthless fire breathing Koopa named Bowser. If you like the Mario movies, I think they'll find things like about this uh, Mario games. You'll find something like about this movie, right? I mean, like, literally, this movie was just freaking adorable there is so many easter eggs in this dang movie i i can't even go through all of them like it, it's it's literally just so many different like things that are random like there's jump man in the back of the pizzeria is one of the facts i have right now mm -hmm. is on there i mean things about donkey kong things things that like literally you would need a pen a paper and some of the best eyes in the world to like pick up on some of these uh, Easter eggs. Yeah. Like uh, one of them was, um, gosh, uh, I'm trying to think of half of them now. Oh, I, I know that. I can't do you know the game that Mario's playing in his bedroom with any of the game called? No, which one was that? Kid Icarus. He was playing Kid Icarus. On oh, yeah, he was playing Kid Icarus. Star Fox at one point's in there. Uh, Punch Out Pizza is the name of the pizza <laughs> place. Uh, I mean, they do the Mario rap at one point. I oh, know. Which I know scared that's... the hell out of me for a second. I was like, this better not be it. But it, no, they they did a good job of explaining away why Mario doesn't have the, the, the Italian accent in this. They did a good job yeah. of that. They, they, they made it believable. Um, it was okay. It wasn't bad. Uh, it looked great. It looked fantastic. Um, yeah, and there's like even like part. I mean, this was fun. They they had fun time doing this. And if they do a cinematic universe with uh, with you know 
with this, I'm down for that. That that this actually seemed really good. This was like a good attempt at making a Mario movie or making Mario make sense whatsoever. I thought, I thought it was a uh, entertaining. I I think for people who aren't Mario fans, they won't get as much out of it as we did. You know, I think you will. I mean, because like literally, this is just like the. This is like the the cat's meow. I mean, there's no. so many. <laughs> There's so many different things in the background that's going on during this freaking this movie that it's ridiculous. Uh, the characters between Mario, Luigi, um, Peach, which is this, uh, I don't know if I used that fact. Let me see if I did. But this is the first time it, her name has ever been Peach outside yeah, of Yeah, Princess Japan. Toadstool, yeah. Is what they There's do. always Princess Toadstool. And, um, but this is like one of those movies that it was just like, man, it was fun. It was funny. Mm -hmm. It was like, uh, hit it right out of the park. I can see why this is already a hundred seventy five million dollars at the movie theater. Yeah, this made a fucking ton of money. It made a shit ton of money. <laughs> like uh, last week when we were reviewing movies, and it was like the day before everything. You know, like the day that it's not really open, but it is open. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were so many kids lined up for this freaking movie. Yeah, we, we, we saw it with a bunch of kids. So, I gotta say, man, the best thing about this movie to me is Bowser. 100% Bowser is Jack Oh, Black. Bowser knocked it out yeah. of the park. Yeah, that's the best thing about this movie to me. It's not a bad movie. It's cute. Uh, but to me, Jack Black is Bowser. is the star of this movie. You know, he's the best part about it. <laughs> You know. I mean, there's even a part where he has a piano, yeah, and it says uh, on it says uh, I can't remember exactly what it says. I think it says like uh, Koopa something, right? Yeah, something Koopa, and I can't remember exactly what the now I can't remember what it was. Oh, here it is. I actually did it. I already uh, did that. That is a fact. Yeah. Uh, the brand of the piano Bowser plays is called Ludwig von Cooper. Is the name of the eldest Koopaling. And Super Mario Brothers video games introduced in Super Mario 3 as the final boss in World 7. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But, like, it's, like, little things like that. How are you going to catch the little gold saying on the freaking piano? I remember you know, when we like, were five years old, when we were five years old, we got Super Mario Brothers 3 for a birthday. Oh. Yeah. I remember I got the original Nintendo yeah. for Christmas yeah. in 86, I think it was. Yeah, 86. Yeah, and it was great. Okay, the okay. So let's talk about the actual movie instead of, of all the video okay. game shit. All right. Uh, one, the cinematography, the uh, the CGI on this one, amazing, amazing. Um, the member berries come back really oh, quick yeah. if you play if you play any Mario ever, all of it's yeah. in here. Yeah, and it it. References the Donkey Kong references to. Mario Kart. They even, I think, joked about him being a doctor at one point. Yeah, they did. That was funny. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, you're going to be a Dr. Mario, are you? You know, like, and which is hilarious because he is a Dr. Mario. We can say this is, you know, head and shoulders above the 1994 Mario with John Luzano. Oh, my gosh. And, uh, there's, there was an article or something about uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino, like, protecting the old one. Oh, yeah. It's well, like, no, 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 no. You just didn't get his vision or something like that. And I'm well, just like, whatever, man. It was a shitty vision. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a very shitty vision. I, I mean, I got that. I mean, but how do you bring Mario Brothers come to life? Yeah. With this, with the cartoon, what they did here. Yeah, with the cartoon. Um, no, you could have done it real life, I guess. I'm just not. I mean, you have to use CGI, but you, back then they didn't have that kind of money for that. Okay. But um, dude, Anna uh, Taylor Joy was great. Charlie Day was was Luigi was awesome. Luigi is such a character in this movie that you're just like feel sorry for like <laughs> half the whole movie, if not whole the whole entire movie. Um, the story was exactly good. And I I see a lot of parents, and I mean a lot of parents that uh, are going to hate the song Peaches as oh. much as they do Baby Shark and Frozen. Because they're going to hear it all the time. They're going to hear it all the time. Yeah, because honestly, they let Jack Black just go loose in that. He does everything ridiculous you want Jack Black to do in a song. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. it's, it's, the best, it's one of the best parts of the movie. 
Awesome. One of the best parts of the movie by far. So, uh, so let's go ahead. I'll give you some quotes and let's get uh, let's get the uh, reviews out there. The, okay. the score. Uh, Behold the king of the Koopas. This is a, but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Super Mario's a name. Plumbing's are game. We found a secret warp zone working on it. Oh, wait, no. That's the actual rap, <laughs> not the one I said. Super Mario Brothers are in business. Do they give an Oscar for worse actors? Yes, they do. It's called the Razzle. Uh, yeah. uh, I knew saving Brooklyn would be a bad idea. <laughs> do not Touch that mushroom. You will die. <laughs> you will die. Do I got two pages? Or is this just one? Okay. Here we go. So, uh, you just got Luigi'd. <laughs> Does this thing work? You just have to blow into it. Mm -hmm. Did you see that part? Mm -hmm. Or somebody had a Nintendo cartridge in the back. Yeah, yeah. Goes, it was really funny. He's like, you just have to blow in it. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> Member berries. Our princess is in another ca castle. So you're going to have to check out other castle. I thought that was hilarious. I laughed so hard. Does this have to be a mushroom? I hate mushrooms. They're all counting on us. So no pressure. No pressure at all. No princess will ever find you attractive. <laughs> Time, like hope, is an illusion. Mm -hmm. Settle down! That means you, Diddy Kong. <laughs> I love so hard at that. So like Diddy Kong. Dude, it is on like Donkey Kong. He got the cat box. <laughs> Are, is this you flirting? Because this is painful. Ooh, fresh meat from the grinder. See, told you I'd get you a pet turtle. All that's left is you and the infinite void. <laughs> Suicidal blue star, guys. I, I, I you'll have to. I, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, yeah. That fucking suicidal blue star was ridiculous. All right, Steve. So, what's your score on this? My score is, uh, dude, a four point two. This was great. Oh, you liked it that could, much? I, I, I could, I, I could not imagine that that Super Mario Brothers would work as a movie. They made it work as a movie. I'm so happy. Uh, I'm glad it's doing really well. I want this to do really good because I want it to be. I want sequels. I want a I want a Nintendo Cinematic Universe. I want Metroid, Star Fox, Kid Icarus. I want I want uh, Legend of Zelda. I want all of them, all of them. My score in this is a three point seven. It was fine. I, I didn't hate it. It was it was fun. You know, I, I watched sequel. Oh, it was more than fine. It is the Academy Award winner for best original <laughs> song this year. Not yet. One hundred percent. Some something really sweet, like the arms of the angel shit, is going to have to come out for it not to be, you know, not to be Peaches to win. I bet you Peaches wins by a landslide. All right, man. I'm RunToMeals.com. What is the audience score for the Super Mario Brothers movie? Eighty-seven. 96%. Holy there, shit. There is a uh, audience says. Mm -hmm. Wahoo. So <laughs> that's what it is. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Wahoo. Wahoo. Uh, Wahoo. Now, uh, what's the creative score for this movie? Uh, hookers and blow. That's not a number. I need a number. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Sixty-nine. Fifty-seven percent. I knew it'd be low. Kristen's census is, while it's nowhere as near as thrilling as turtle tipping your way to 128 lives, Super Mario's movie is a colorful, albeit thinly plot animated adventure that has about as many Nintendos as Nintendos. Which is, whatever. <laughs> um, it, but it's fine. I like the movie. It's, it's good. I, I'd, look, I'd watch sequel. I know some people that didn't like it. But uh, I thought it was cute. 
So I thought it was great. A lot of people loved it. It was pretty. It was pretty packed house that I was at. Yeah, it was too for us. I saw it on Monday. So I was like, "Go ahead." I think I saw it on Monday. Yeah, I saw it uh, yesterday. I think. Did I know Monday? No, I saw it on Monday because Tuesday was too busy for us. So I saw it. I saw it Monday night at freaking nine p.m. Now I remember (laughs) when I saw it, and it was still like a pretty busy freaking, you know, house. It was. It was not. Yeah, it was. was, It's a good movie. I liked it. So I liked it too. Two more movies. Uh, Next week we are doing. Renfield? You want to do Renfield? That's out. Renfield! Because we like vampires. That, that's we also like good. That's, also, that's plenty of fan fest tomorrow. Renfield. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, nice. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know what the other movie you want to do is. Do you want to do a fan fest movie? I can, well, do you want to do a fan fest movie next time? We can do whatever you want, bro. Okay. You tell me. You tell me. You, you, we'll come up. Guys, it is Panic Fest week for us. So this is going to be the busiest week for us. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna put out so many movies and reviews <laughs> in the next couple of days. It is going to be yeah. insane. We, we get some interviews coming up, too, so we'll be posting those. Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be. You got it, it's We're gonna so be, fucking you know, busy. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Right. So, uh, Yay. Yay! 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 Okay, all right, dude. Uh, okay, uh, you can find us on moviesonsuck.net. We're on Facebook, Facebook.com, slash streams on the podcast. We're on Twitter, FTS Podcast, or Instagram, and DBS Podcast. I'm sorry, my words again. Um, you guys can go to patreon.com slash movies and don't suck. You guys can uh, join Patreon. Maybe if we get enough people, we're still giving extra content. Like, there may be spoilers on movies, maybe. We can do that. Spoiler episodes. I don't know. And then um, also we'll shout out your name on the podcast. And who doesn't want that? Um, also, we're on bonfire.com. Search me don't suck and something to do on bonfire. We will, uh, we, we, you got shirts with a name on it and stuff that Neil's made. And yes, I don't have one with me right now, but I do have another shirt. Have you seen this other shirt yet? No, what's the other shirt? Not just us, but some of our friends has shirts too. Just got this in today. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. It is the Panic Fest t-shirt. Make sure you guys go look at those, the drippy cat. Oh, my God. I can't wait to wear this out in public. I'm going to have one. I'm going to have one. I'm buy one this weekend. But the drippy cat, the drippy cat is amazing. But you can buy Panic Fest shirts as well. Um, Dude, guys, definitely go buy stuff. We need money. What, if, what, if, what would you use your small businesses now? Small businesses, we advertise you just like Panic Fest. They didn't ask us to advertise no, them. Just, uh, we are advertising them yeah. because we love them. That's it, man. <laughs> we just want to advertise your business. We want to make it so it's awesome. So if you want, just hit us up. You can go on Facebook. You can get us at any one of the locations that you, Chris just said. Mm-hmm. And we will be more than happy to have fun promoting your stuff. That's another episode of Movies That Don't Suck and Some Do. My name is Neil. And I'm Chris. And remember, guys, if you're walking around and you start talking to a floating princess and turtles that are trying to fight you with fireballs, maybe you just took too much mushrooms. You're not in Super Mario Brothers. Have a good day. <laughs>